we want to know how fast does a penny have to be going before it will kill you. And then it blew out the entire scene. Can a bubblegum ball kill you? That's what we're gonna find out today. We've got a gumball, a whopper, a gobstopper, and a Lindor chocolate. We're gonna find out which of these has the highest potential to kill you. Oh, that gumball for sure, those are hard. Gumball over the gobstopper? Gobstoppers are like a bullet. So this is the ballistic gel that we are using and it comes from a company called Clear Ballistics. Huge thanks to them for sending this to us. If you wanna check them out, we've got a link down in the description and they're also giving you 10% off if you wanna get your own. Definitely a buy. What we're using is actually 10% ballistic gel, which is a little bit softer than the alternative 20%. 10% is the standard used by the FBI, 20% is the standard used by NATO. Because this is softer, we will liken it to blubber and 20% is like muscle. Is that a fair uh, comparison, Neil? Yes. Are you watching Wreck-It Ralph? No. <laughs> We've got a stripe board so we can measure the speed of it coming out of the barrel. And we've got some ballistic gel to measure the, the... deadly impact. Yes. What do you think is going to be the most deadly? We checked the density and it was the exact same as my beer gut here. <laughs> Perfect representation is if this were to hit me in the stomach. We're gonna start off with uh, the chocolate because I think this is the least likely to do anything. Ready when you are. My ears. Did not come out in one piece, which was kind of expected. We have the compressor filled up to 170 PSI, but the pieces that did come out and hit, they went into this block pretty far, and that was 500 feet per second? Yeah, 340 miles an hour. <laughs> and kilometers, you'll just have to make it up. Smaller barrel is installed, and now we're gonna do a whopper. Three, two, one. Oh, oh a la mode! <laughs> High speed almost missed it, but you can see right there where it hit. That actually looks a lot worse than I thought it was gonna be. Yeah, that would hurt extremely bad. Should we try and do a semi-auto? Uh, always. No, full auto. Full. We're hoping this works like a siphon feed air gun type thing. Now yeah, all the air shooting out of here that it has should suck those out and shoot them. It's all glued, so hopefully it doesn't come apart, but we also let it cure for five minutes, so. We got two shots to come out. Unfortunately, the smaller PVC doesn't, well, not locally, we can't get a Y T. So the other one's just shot out and hit right there. Will you put your hand over it? Next shot. Okay. Wet paper towel. Wet paper towel and a tea. Yep. I'm hit. Ooh. 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 Try it again in the future uh, with something bigger where we can do a Y T. Got an even smaller pipe now. We're gonna do some gob stoppers. See if those do any more damage. I'm guessing these are gonna maybe embed. Those are hard to the core. Hardcore. They're everlasting. Hit the block, it did stick, broke skin, it's 
fully intact. Barely got it on the camera, so now we're gonna try a more head-on slow-mo shot. One, two, three. Notice this, there's a gobstopper stuck inside of this block. And what is that down underneath it? Is that an air bubble? Find the entry point. Uh, this gobstopper, though, we couldn't see it on the high speed. We think that there were two gobstoppers going right next to each other so fast. The first one stayed in, and then the second one is what we saw bouncing back out. There's green. Yeah, so there, I think a green gobstopper pushed it in there, and then the green bounced back out. That would hurt. Moment of truth, one inch double bubble gumball. You think it'll embed? Yes. Baby. Okay, three, two, one. Rapid fire gumball, we'll see if that does any more damage. I've got protection on. He doesn't though, because we don't care about him. Three, two, one. Oh my god. <laughs> I thought for sure at least half of those would bounce back like right at me, but they just kept pushing each other further and further in. What is that? That's like, that's gotta be close to three inches deep. Speaking of three inches, some of you may have noticed that Neil is kind of a sad looking person. There's actually a very good reason for this, and that's because he doesn't currently own a pair of Raycon earbuds. My ears! Quite frequently, I get asked how I really feel about Raycons. Do I really like them? Honestly, yeah. I've bought a couple pairs myself. My wife bought some, my mom bought some, my brother-in-law has some, my brother-in-law's brother even bought some. They really are that good. And once you have your own pair, I think you'll find that you rarely leave the house without them. I use mine for everything, from mowing the lawn, working, and even traveling. Some things I love best about my Raycons is they don't hurt my ears. Also, they don't fall out, and they got 32 hours of battery life. Plus, they start out at about half the price of other premium audio brands, but sound just as good. Do yourself a favor, get some Raycons, and don't worry about it because they've got a 45 day happiness guarantee. So go ahead and click on the link down in the description or go to buyraycon.com slash waterjet and get 15% off your order. Now, I think we need to try and make Neil a little happier. Neil, I've got a present for you. These are Raycons. I want you to go to the link in our description and get yourself a pair so you can stop being so sad. But there's only one way to know if it's truly lethal. Shoot it at a rack of ribs. Oh, I thought I was gonna stand in front of it. <laughs> yeah, that too. After much engineering, we got the rack of ribs fixed. Oh, oh no, no it's slippery. We did not think this through very well. <laughs> <laughs> this clamp, broken nasty one. We've got, I think, eight gumballs loaded into the cannon. So we'll see if we get any broken ribs and if we can just break through the skin. Three, two, one. Oh my gosh. Wow. It killed him. Owie. <laughs> that, was, that was way worse than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> Sure, 
that right there is shattered bone. Yep. That is shattered bone. You want to stay in front of it still? <laughs> we better take it down a couple of <laughs> They even blew out the back of the cardboard box. Did they hit the trailer? Where did they go? We got fragments of gumball. The yellow one. I don't see anything on the trailer. Just tiny fragments of gumball all over. Oh, wow. So it missed both those ribs, but it completely destroyed this rib right in the middle. Ow, it's sharp. Now we have a disease. There's flux of gumball in it. Let's uh, open up the box. Oh, there's, there's a lot of the gumball. <laughs> That's what they would find inside your body. <laughs> this is worse than a hollow point. <laughs> well, will a gumball kill you? When we started this video, we were thinking that, you know, it would be inconclusive and we'd let you guys decide, but... Things are looking more conclusive. <laughs> what do you say? Yep. Mitchell, Mitchell had to leave real quick. Uh, so, does that mean? Can you, uh, would you do the honors? Uh, <laughs> Don't be shy. That smells really bad. Come on, get in there. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yep, it's dead. <laughs> What's up, guys? <laughs> Stop. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs>